In this lesson, I'll show you how to draw three-dimensional objects to look three-dimensional. If it's your first time on our channel, bear in mind that this video caters towards math and science students that draw figures on X, Y, Z planes. So it's not a visual arts tutorial, if that's what you had in mind. The first thing on the list is to show you how to create an X, Y, Z plane. First, you begin with a horizontal and vertical line that cross each other. Much the same way you would create a Cartesian plane, just like this. Except on an XY plane, the vertical is not the Y. Instead, it's the Z axis. And the horizontal is not the X, it's the Y. To draw the remaining axis, you want the line to pass through the origin. And you want to avoid drawing this line too close to the Z axis. Don't forget to put the arrows on the other lines. The next thing I want to show you is how to show lines that cross each other. Specifically, lines that intersect, one that is behind the other, and one that's in front of another. If you want to show two intersecting lines, they can intersect each other. In other words, show that the lines touch each other. If we call this line AB and this line CD, and I want line CD to be portrayed underneath AB, you can show that by erasing part of CD so that AB is visibly in front of CD. This technique is known as adding a break. On the contrary, if you want the opposite way around, you would do the opposite of that. This time CD is in front of AB. Third on the list is to show a line that is below a plane, above a plane, and on the plane. Let's create a plane on this XYZ Cartesian plane. So let's angle it so that it looks like a parallelogram. Something like this. If I want to show that a line is below this plane, make sure that when the line crosses the plane that you made, this part, the one that's underneath, is dashed. That's how you know that this red line is below the plane. And you may also add this effect to the X, Y, Z axes that are being highlighted, only this particular region. If you want the red line to appear above the plane, no problem, you'll just erase the gray line that's underneath it. Now I apologize that there's a little bit of leftover, but there shouldn't be any. Now you can see that this line is above the plane. And if you want it to be touching the plane where it's actually sitting on it, that's all you do. Now you know that this line is sitting directly on the plane. The last thing that I want to show you is how to draw a sphere on an XYZ Cartesian plane. The first thing that you want to do is draw a perfect circle at the center, just like that. And another circle that is oval stretching from this end to that end. Now by making this part of the sphere dashed, you give the impression of depth. Specifically, this region is behind this part of the circle. So this right here is the hidden portion of the sphere. To make it even more interesting, you can make this part dashed, the x-axis that is, all the way to the end. The same treatment is given to the z and y-axis. Now of course you would want to do this as well if you're doing a plane. We didn't show that when we showed the plane, but it's common practice to do so. It's also appropriate to show breaks or a contact dot which helps visually. On that note, you may show a break here to show that at this point, the x-axis is coming out of the circle and a break here. I'll put a dot here to show that this is the contact of the sphere and the x-axis. So the x-axis is coming out of that point. And there you have it. A few tips and pointers on how to draw three-dimensional objects to look three-dimensional.